Every day. I do it every day. Well, most days. Not Wednesdays. But most days. I walk this every day so I can get to studio. The studio is amazing. <laughs> Why else would I go? <laughs> because I work full time, Jamie walks almost every day from school to the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy. It's a big priority in her life that she's here, so she makes it so she's here, and I think, I think that's really great. I started walking, and believe me, it was a lot harder a couple of months ago, because <laughs> I think it's a mile and a half here, and so I was, I don't exercise, so I was a wimp. <laughs> I was like winded by the time I got here. This place is such a nice atmosphere. I just constantly want to be here, so walking's worth it. When I first met her, she came to a birthday party uh, that somebody was having here. And after that birthday party, she said, I have to be here. So I was like, I need to come back here. I, this like needs to be a thing. And so I just came back and kept coming back. I have always referred to Jamie as my non-mainstream child. And I think that when you have a not mainstream child, it's middle school is a really hard time. She really struggled with depression um, and some anxiety. It was very hard with, for her to find a place that she could connect with others and that was really like her home base. She did not have that um, at all. Before I came here, I was a shut-in. Basically, I, I, the summer before here, before I came here, I basically spent the entire three months in my room by myself on the internet, just watching YouTube. There was a lot of sadness. <laughs> with her and um, I think that's always hard as a parent to watch your child maybe struggle with that um, and feel not understood you know by others. She kept all of her talents very much concealed inside of her and now I look at her and it just makes me smile because this girl has blossomed right in front of us and now she has all kinds of friends she's very outgoing she has an interest in her future. I'm basically an entire new person. I wasn't living, really. And now that I've come here and it's almost like I'm not me anymore because that's the me I knew for so long and I was the only person I was for five years straight. But now it's hard but all like freeing at the same time to try to find who I am now, which is really nice about this place. You don't even realize you're getting better. Since she's really been here and gotten more involved, she's so much braver and more outgoing. She's been singing in a band, which is like, it blows me away. Now that I have this place, I can put myself into my art and it's nice to express yourself that way because some people don't want to tell the truth about how they feel, but if they can put that into their art, then maybe you can tell how they feel without them having to say it. She's integrated herself in this whole community and they've been so welcoming. Sorry. Give me a second. Like the happiness level has just skyrocketed because I think when you find a place where you really feel like you belong and that other people are more like you and you're understood as a teenager, that's, I mean, it's a huge change in her. I want the kids to feel like when they come here, they can be who they are. They don't have to put on any fronts for anyone. They can come here, they can do their art, they can do their music. They're never going to be ridiculed or, um, you know, Nobody will be bullied, nobody will be, this is a place where they can come and be at home. This place is amazing. It, it's not fair how amazing it is. Am I done making you cry? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>